hello dear learners welcome back to my dear students also and uh, in class 11 we have learned about mysql in class 12 we will learn advances as well as prescribed in our syllabus but before taking the new topics we have to refresh our content of class 11 that's why just a quick review we will take a quick review of mysql command so far okay uh, let us start from the beginning type here mysql and you will see here mysql command line client just click on it and you will ask you password here give your password of mysql and your mysql will be open okay now the first command we will give we will show databases Okay, you will see the list of database. Here we can create new database also. We we'll start from creating new database. Create database and give the name of database. Suppose I am giving it to school. Now my new database has been created that is a school. So databases you can see in the list of databases the name is school appear here previously it was not there okay now it is here is school that means new database has been created now the time is to use database use the school database opened so tables for the list of tables available in database there is no tables at all here we'll create a table create new table create table give the name of table suppose i am giving a student okay use bracket now give the definition of column suppose first column i am giving roll number is data type integer then size of roll number maximum five okay then name its data type is character and its size is 20 then i can add some more in column suppose a city which is also character it has also size 20 okay up yeah your closing bracket then give a semicolon to terminate this command and press enter key okay table has been created now we will give the sortable commands sortable command to see the list of table so here a school database has one table that is a student okay if we want to see the structure of table then we can use describe command describe a student you can see the structure of this table here row number integer data size 5 name city likewise you can see okay now the next is to store data in this table okay so for the storing data into table we can use insert into command so let us give some commands to store data insert into student values all number one zero one name 
Amman city you can see Jalandhar one record inserted insert into student values roll number 102 means city I can give me summary okay another, another student insert into the student values three jet or city and number okay these three records has been stored in a student table if you want to see this record then we can use select command select star star means all records from the student then give semicolon and press enter key. so here you can see the select command display the all record of student table and insert into command is used to store records into the table okay now we can give some more commands suppose i want to update in this column Suppose name Anis, I want to change Anis into Anis Khan. Okay, so let us see update table name that is a student set column name that is name value that is Anis Khan. Now it's time to give the condition where roll number is equal to one zero two okay now the name has been changed you can see select the star from a student okay so this is the update command update command that is used to update the data into table okay now we will learn one more command that is delete okay a delete command is used to delete the data from the table so the syntax delete from table name that is student here if we terminate this command here then the whole data will be deleted if we want to delete selected data then I can specify the condition and suppose I want to delete third row so here you can see where row number equal to 103 the third row has been deleted select a star from the student and you can see the result of this command if you want to delete the whole data of this file then you can also give the delete command delete from a student and simply give the semicolon and press enter all data is deleted okay so now see select start from student empty there is no record in student table now they see so tables here you will see the table is still here you can 
insert record insert into student values one one two and get cd in summary one row edit insert into student values one one three Nick here. This part. Okay. Now you can see select a star from the student. The delete command cannot delete the structure of our table it deletes only data that's why we can reuse this table like we have reused recently in this manner here we have deleted the whole data hmm? then the structure is remain here when we inserted two more data in the table this data is still exists in this table now if you want to delete the whole data as well as its structure then i can use the drop command drop table student okay now there is nothing here select a star from a student the student table is not exist okay here you can also use the show tables then you will see the empty there is no student table that means the student table as well as its data had been removed from this database okay we can now also remove database from mysql using drop comma drop database school okay now see the so data basis you see the command of there is nothing a school database has been deleted had been deleted so here we start from showing database then create database then use database then create table then show table then describe the structure of table then insert records into table then show records from the table then update records then delete records then reinsert records into table then use a drop table command and finally we use drop database and show database any jahan se chale the wahi aake khatam we have taken a quick review of mysql commands and in next lecture that is python revision 2 part second we will see some more command especially we will elaborate our select command so you can see the various clauses of select command and operators used with the help of select command etc etc for till now mm. Okay, bye. Thank you very much.